What's up, guys? Got a few plays ready here. We're uh, we're taking a different direction for a while on the channel, guys. Uh, I'm actually ducking out of music for a while. There's other things in my life that I want to pursue. Uh, restoring this 1981 Mercury Capri four cylinder four speed is at the top of that list. And my kids are getting older, and it's just time to. Uh, it's time to take a break from music and it's time to concentrate on this, do this. This is a project I'll be working on with my kids. And so uh, it's an adventure. I've done music for 30 years. I've actively been playing in bands. And so it's gonna be a big change for me. I think if I, during that time, if I add up all the time that I wasn't in a band, I might have a year, but that's pushing it. Uh, it's just been non-stop pushing on that scene for me and I also came to the conclusion that at 47 years old I was uh, I was taking chances away from kids new music isn't happening guys because old bastards like me wouldn't get off stage and give them an opportunity and that's what we need to do so here it is guys 1981 Mercury Capri four cylinder four speed. Uh, this is not my exact first car. My first car was a 79 and it was black and silver. Go Raiders. Uh, but that's not what, uh, what this is. Uh, same engine and transmission though, four cylinder five speed. Believe it or not, these are rated for 37 miles per gallon, and as a teenager in high school driving one, I can say it might have, actually. I had my foot in mine all the time. But you can see it's not perfect. Uh, it, it is covered in soap right now because it's the first wash. This was a barn find, or garage find, I guess, out of Salina, Kansas. And uh, the price was so good, I bought it sight unseen. I did physically drive there to give them the money and the shipper just got here with the car yesterday. This is how it's, well, a lot more dirt. I've actually, and you notice, yes, I left the soap bubbles on. That's because it's raining. We're expecting a lot more rain. Uh, let's see here, sorry. Those tags are really expired anyway, so I don't think anyone cares if I get. But anyway, this is where we're at so far. It is a sunroof car that is a factory that is not a dealer sunroof uh, you can tell because you'll see the ridges the interior is not awful i've seen worse so the plan here is to get the 1979 uh plastic uh door inserts with the door handle at the bottom and 1979 vinyl seats hopefully in black the interior is getting blacked out with green highlights. The exterior is going to be a green. Uh, I've actually got a whole bunch of green uh, vinyl. So I know you've got to do a lot of body work before putting the vinyl on. But we're going to go ahead and do the body work on it as you normally would. And we're going to go ahead and repaint it. And I'm going to put it in the original colors. The interior, however, I am painting slash dyeing anything I can. And then hopefully I'll have a whole collection of parts that people will find the kindness of their hearts to part with. Uh, the car does have a name already. It's a long one. It's called The Kindness of Strangers because uh, they, they were kind enough to sell this to me at an extremely, an extremely good price because, because I was gonna restore this with my kids and because it was as close to my first car as I could find. And I've been going through a lot of personal changes and stuff and personal goals are changing. So, uh, it's so uh, that that's the concept the name of this car is kindness of strangers i know it doesn't have the nice ring as charlene or darlene or any of that dumb shit but that's what it is uh 
<laughs> so I called my buddy Austin last night. I was all excited as it was coming off the trailer. I was like, all right, cool. Physical possession is damn near mine. Because this has been a nightmare getting this car out here. But uh, he brought me these rims. So I got me some dish soap and got started on the cleaning this morning and then I'm just setting them out here in the rain so that they can, we're expecting a monsoon here in about 30 minutes. So that'll rinse this all off. And then we've got a break for about an hour and then we're supposed to have another monsoon. So I think I'm gonna be able to get two washes on this thing today. You can already see where some of the soap is drying off. I'll probably come out here and redo it. And I missed a few areas because I've been looking at all the little dings and dents. Uh, that hatch has got just a little bit of ding there, right there, but that's not bad. We've got a ding here, and I got some stuff down here I gotta fix. Uh, the passenger side is actually remarkably straight. Uh, a little bit of rust down here. Uh, hardly any down here. You can feel it up under that panel. You can feel it's starting to bubble a little bit, so we're gonna get that taken care of. And, uh, and so we're going to repaint it the blood orange so that it is original underneath but we are going to wrap it because the color i decided on and i had a bunch of leftover wrap from a, a previous vehicle i wanted to do but i had to sell it before i could do it so we've got that uh i'm debating the racing stripe and if anyone's got a hood in better shape than mine. Uh, let me know in the comments what you want for it. Shit, obviously, I'm in Missouri, so you can figure that out. But uh, if anybody's got the, uh, the any of the 1979 interior parts that I mentioned you want to part with, let me know. If anybody wants to randomly send parts uh, and just to help the project along, this is the first video. Uh, I'm going to try to upload these as often as I can. Uh, I still got work going on and I still got to raise kids and stuff, but the music's no longer in the way, so I'll have a lot more time for this. Peace out, guys. Love y'all. Thank you very much. And thank you to the people who I bought this car from. This is just going to be the most awesome thing in the world.